Oh, these four right here. Oh, shoot him, boy. Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. We're out here for a giant goose hunt. We have all of the decoys set up, all of my decoys. 40 dozen dive bomb silhouettes, two mojos. Uh, Jordan brought some duck full bodies, but today I'm gonna be using a 10 gauge, a double barrel 10 gauge that is. Y'all have been requesting Bobby, you gotta try a 10 gauge. Uh, this thing is a cannon, an absolute unit. Big shout out to Brad's dad for letting me use it this morning. I'll see if I can down a handful of birds with it. We'll see how it goes. But we are setting the spread. It's big, it's juicy, it's yummy. Oh goodness, this right side is just huge. But real quick, if you haven't checked out that old school camo hat from Ducks Waterfowl, go check it out. I will link it down in the description below. It's a good looking old hat. Here's the blind situation today. We got two A-frames, five guys, and a bunch of evergreens on top of the A-frame out in the middle of a field. We're gonna hope it works. <laughs> Oh, Freddy Rico. Good morning. Come here. Good morning. Set. Set. Oh, you're excited. Set. Set. Good morning, Freddy Rico. If I going to uh, die today, it's possible. <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> we might lose an arm. <laughs> Brad's walking out here and he's like, well, are you ready for your arm to hurt a little bit today? And I'm like, well, yeah, it couldn't be that bad, right? The old 10 gauge. He's like, oh, yeah, three and a half inch double BBs, boy. You're going to be hurting. All we can do is try. <laughs> Well, here she is, the old 10 gauge double barrel. Big shout out to Brad's dad. This bad boy's got two triggers. The one thing he said is, make sure you don't pull both triggers at the same time. <laughs> Fred, calm down, dude. Oh boy. You ain't lying, this is a Bertha, dude. Wonder how much this gun weighs. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Well, we're gonna load her up here. Three and a half inch BBs today, boys. Woo! -hoo -hoo. That sucker. Man, I could almost do one arm curls with that bad boy. <laughs> Woo, that's heavy. All right, well, that's fire, that's safety. Double trigger system, don't pull them both at once. We should be good to go. Where's he at? Did he land? Well, we missed the first duck there. Boo. Boo hoo. Your fault, Jordan, your fault. I know, I was looking <laughs> that way. Dude, my mind is on this. This, this just absolute, sledgehammer in my hand i'm not worried about the ducks yet i'm just I, worried about manning this cannon of a weapon you don't shoot a duck because there's not, gonna be <laughs> not gonna be what was it it had feathers I, that's I about think, all i know yeah i think it was a mallard bobby <laughs> gee many christmas <laughs> that's a clear day i wish it was cloudy Man, I wish it was cloudy. These days like this, when it's nice, they want to beat their wings. Yeah. So we're going to watch them beat their wings. Yeah. <laughs> shoot them, boy. Shoot them. Oh! Where's the second trigger? Oh! Where's the second trigger? <laughs> that was a hammer! Holy cow. Hey, we didn't kill them, did we? No. But it, that's a hammer! <laughs> it scared me pretty good, though. It's like, holy crap. Oh, Dude, yeah, that's the 10. It's like, yuck! Oh, my God! Well, we got them up. The roost is up behind us, and this thing is a hammer. Fred, here, let's go. Heel, no bird. Woo! I was, that jolted me. Wow. If you guys are liking the double barrel 10 gauge, you gotta smash the thumbs up button for your boy. Well, here we go. Oh, watch it, Fred. Oh, that's a beast, man. What year is this gun? You don't know? <laughs> oh really it's been that's cool that is really cool my dad had a matching set really somebody ripped one of them off oh someone stole one so this double barrel 10 gauge has been in brad's and his dad's family ever since yeah i don't know probably 30 40 50 years so pretty cool here we go we got birds boys come on give it up one of you look at this single up here he's liking it Man, these birds are hard to intrigue, boys. Oh my. You have any thoughts over there, Jordan? Any suggestions? Uh, no. 
None. Right on. There's a single coming at us. Shoot that single. Try him. <laughs> Fred, no bird here. Fred. Fred here. Uh, that's the closest bird we've had we've had in a while, boys. You know. I was like, I'm just gonna take one Mally whack with the old 10 gauge and see what happens. No go, boys. Fred here. Good boy. Set. You don't need to be breaking, dude. I have nowhere to tie him down today. If I tie him to the A-frame, you know what'll happen there. He'll just destroy the whole the whole blind. He'll just take it with him. <laughs> That's a young speck. That is a baby. Why isn't he just giving it up? Oh, these four right here. Oh. Shoot him, boy! Oh! Yeah! Got him, boys! Nice! Woo! Woo! Dude, good call. I didn't see him coming. All of a sudden, they were just right there. I, I did not see him coming. Good boy! Here, Fred! Fred, here! Oh, yeah! The old 10 gauge getting it done. Good, Fred, here! Dead bird. Look at this. Got a lesser in his mouth. Here, good boy, I'll take that. Good boy, that's my guy. You're looking good. That's my guy. Here, Fred, here, here, heel, heel, sit, give. That's my guy. Did we drop two or more? Three, there's one There's more one more out there. We another, another dead bird, Fred. Right to him. There good, go. here, Fred, here. Good boy, good boy, good boy. That's three birds, that's awesome. Here, Fred, here, come on, buddy. That's my guy. That's my dude. Yes! Three birds, man. That's my dude. I didn't even have to get out of the blind. Woo! If y'all like that, give a big old thumbs up for Fred, man. That's his first time ever doing a triple, especially on lessers. Good job. Come on, get lower. Sit. Sit. We're gonna let him work one more time. Hopefully they do it again. Yeah. Come on, give it up. Now that they finally beat the rust off the wings. Look at these group out fronts getting down. Man, look above us, they're working. I know. Goodness. Man, these birds are just working us and working us and working us. The first go, we had them at about 40 yards. I probably should have called that, but there were so many behind them that looked interested, I wanted to give them a chance but from now on if they're at 40 we're shooting get in here look at them stall up they love it come on come on come on come on get ready to shoot these birds shoot at them Oh, got one down. Nice, boys. Got two down. Oh, that's a dead boy right there. Hey, you can call me Skybuster all day because that's what we just did. <laughs> I wasn't waiting anymore. I got sick of it. Not with those. Good, Fred. Here. Good. Look at that long retrieve from that good looking dog. That's my guy. Man, this <laughs> the old 10 gauge. Woo. You feel it yet? Yeah, I'm, my shoulder, <laughs> my shoulder's barking. Here, here, Fred, here. Here, here, Fred, here. My aim isn't so swell, but it's fun to shoot. Oh, turn back. <laughs> Shoot him over the top. Shoot him. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Woo! This, I'm telling you, this thing's hard to shoot. Red's a, Red didn't want to. Red! Dead bird! Dead bird! <laughs> Here. Here. It's only got two in it.
Good boy, Fred. Good. Let's go. Good boy. Good. Holy cow. Well, at least we're shooting something. I mean, those came back. We turned them and they came back. Get ready, boys. Shoot them right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, one or two? One, I think. One? That's fine with me. That's fine with me. Good boy, Fred. I'm calling shots. I don't care this time. You know what? Oh, there's a sailor. Good. Oh, yeah. There we got goes. a sailor. Hard Ooh, landing, bud. Wheel. His buddy's following him. His buddy's like, I'll go. Well, Brad's dad traded me guns. He gave me a different 10 gauge. <laughs> he took the double barrel and he gave me a single barrel pump. Woo! That's a big gun. Holy moly. Heck yeah. We're gonna take them high shots today with the 10 gauges, boys. These groups are starting to like it a little more. Oh goodness, boys, get ready. This could get filthy. Come on, give it up. Oh, that's a little tall. Shoot him on your side. I couldn't shoot. Nice shot at the end, boys. I couldn't shoot over you. I would have busted some ears with this old 10 gauge. I really appreciate that. I seen you go, ow, and you ducked out of the way. Good, Fred, here. Yeah, I wasn't going to do that. You're good. Good, Fred, let's go. That's a good boy. Good, Fred, come on, buddy. Here, Fred. Good looking boy. Come on, buddy. Come on, heel, heel, heel. Look at him hold it. Heel. That's a good boy. He got scolded earlier, so look, he's behaving now. Give. Good boy, Freddy. That's a good dog. I am proud of you. Shoot him, boys. He did. He's going down. He's definitely... That dude is done ski. Look at him. He's like, oh, I'm going to circle back around and give you a shot. Load up, boys. Oh, there he goes. He's, he's down for the count. All right, Fred. We need to go pick some geese up. Well, one of the big feeds south of us got up, and they're all headed back to water. So we're about to see a lot of birds. I don't think a lot of them will like us that much, but we're about to see a lot of birds. Yeah, I think they're done messing around. Well, my camera says three minutes and 22 seconds. That's how long I've been working these birds. Come on. Oh yeah, you wanna? Yep, yep, yep. Get ready, boys. Shoot them too. Yeah! Well, the old uh, 10 gauge, that one plowed the old shoulder, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I got that last shot though. Boy, howdy, that reached out there, dude. What, cho oh, the what chokes in this? Boy, howdy, it'll reach out there. Better for how hard it kicks my shoulder. Yep, yep. Shoot them over the top, boys. <laughs> this gun, I'm telling you what. Woo! Goodness. Now, I mean, you gotta work it, you know. These big guns, you gotta, you gotta man them. Yeah, you, it. no, you're not just squeezing the trigger. I mean, you gotta work them. You gotta, woo! Good job, Fred. Let's go, buddy. That's my boy. Well, we got her all loaded up. Forty dozen uh, silhouettes is what we did today. Forty dozen silhouettes, and I didn't get to show you the spread very well, man. I was manning Fred. I was manning the ten gauges. I shot two different ten gauges today. That was awesome. Big shout out to Brad's dad. That was awesome. Um, but awesome little hunt. Uh, we had a few groups. I really hope that I got the last 
uh, pair that just gave it up. I, I don't know if my GoPro was on or not. I'm pretty sure it was. I hope so at least. But good little hunt. I'll tell you what, a 10 gauge, uh, it's a lot of gun. It's not that it kicks insanely hard, but boy howdy, it's heavy. It does kick hard for sure, but it's just so heavy. I mean, it, you gotta man it, you know what I mean? You gotta put it up there, you gotta shoulder it. One heck of a stout gun, I'll tell you what. Well, we're back home. I had to go inside first and freshen up the flow. Oh, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little hunt. I know I did. It's always fun getting out with some new people. Here, Fred, let's go. It's always fun taking new people out that you never have. It's always fun hunting with new people that you never have. You know what I mean? I, uh, I really encourage you guys, uh, hunt with new people. If someone asks you to hunt with them, go hunt with them. As long as you don't have nothing wrong with them, go hunt with them, you know what I mean? Meet new people. But here is Fred's favorite time of the day. Look at him, here he comes. Oh, Frederick, will you want this? You want this, Freddy, huh? You want it? Oh, oh there you go, he's hungry. He's a hungry boy. I, uh, man. I have to give Fred a huge, huge, huge pat on the back today. He did amazing. At one point, he went and retrieved a goose, brought it back. I didn't leave the blind. I was still sitting down. I took it out of his mouth. He, I sent him. I said, Fred, dead bird. He bolted back out, picked up another one, brought it to me again. Still haven't got out of the blind. He picked up three birds, and I sent him the same out of the blind. He has grown so much this season taking him pigeon hunting in the summer taking him to north dakota and then all the hunting that we're doing already here in kansas it's got him geared up he is on the right path he broke on me one time today i had to spank his butt but after that he didn't mess up one time he didn't break only one time i spanked his butt and he was done i want to stake him down though if he breaks once i want to stake him down so he feels that jerk on his neck a couple days ago, I, uh, I leashed him to the tree beside me, and a lot of you were like, Bobby, good job. And not only does it help his safety, keep him safe, but just teaches him not to break, you know what I mean? Well, I don't know what happened to the last clip. It must have got deleted or something, or I didn't even press the record button on the camera. But, uh, guys, thank you for all your video ideas lately. No, I'm not psychic. I just read your comments down below and I pay attention to what you guys want to see. So be expecting some awesome videos to come y'all. Whichever ones are most requested down in the comments, those are the ones that you can expect to come. I think we got three videos right now that y'all are not going to want to miss. And they all got old Frederick in them. But thank you all for being here. Make sure you subscribe, guys. And if you guys want to pick up any of the Ducks Waterfowl gear, I will link it down below. Just know when you guys pick something up, it does go directly to your boy and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. But I'm going to get to scouting. I'm going to finish this video, get it up for y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that notification bell because it'll notify you when I upload. When me and Fred uploads, that is. He's more a part of this channel than I am. But until next time, y'all.